Hello, my name is Dr. Mackenzie Barr. I am a registered dietitian and a faculty member in the Department of Dietetics and Human Nutrition at the University of Kentucky. And within the performance nutrition and body composition laboratory that we have in the department, I'm gonna quickly go over what a bod pod test is and the results that you would receive following a test. So our bod pod test is a body composition analysis and it'll give us a two compartment output. That includes your fat mass and fat free mass. So your fat mass is essentially just that, any adipose tissue that you have in your body. And then your fat free mass is going to be everything else. So lean mass, skeletal muscle, organs, other soft tissue, also including your bone and any body water that you have. The bod pod is a nice picture of our overall adiposity within your body. So it'll give us a great picture of our body composition. However, it's not going to really show us any location distribution of that fat mass or any muscle mass within your body. We can't really tell comparatively if say your upper body has more muscle than your lower body or vice versa. But we do get this nice picture that can assist you in understanding your body, your health, and if you are to make any changes in your lifestyle and what we can see through these changes from a body composition test like the bod pot. If you were to come in for a test in our lab, and this is a photo here on the left, you would have a scheduled time. We would send some emails back and forth to get you scheduled and ready to come. You would be fasted, usually for about two hours prior to the test. And you would be in minimal tight clothing. And what that would look like would be something like a sports bra and spandex shorts for a female or spandex shorts for a male. If you are in need of assistance with that, we can help. And also you would be wearing a swim cap. We don't want any free flowing types of clothing on or um, hair that would displace any air inside the bod pod. When you come in, we would collect height, weight, and age from you prior to the test because we put it into our computer system as you can see there on the left. As you are inside the chamber, this is going to show us the difference between an empty chamber and what the air looks like in there comparative to if your body is in there and how much air you displace. So the volume of the air displaced in the chamber when you're inside is then equal to the volume of your body. From that, we'll get a nice printout results that will show us a bit about your fat mass and fat free mass. During the test, you'll be sitting as still as possible. We usually tell you to breathe normally and keep your hands on your knees, trying not to move much. This may feel like you're going up and down a hill or going up in an airplane. Your ears might pop because of that air being displaced around you. And usually this will take about 30 seconds. We do it twice, so we'll close the door let the test run, open the door, close it again, and let it run more, one more time. Not uncomfortable at all, just, you know, looking like you're in a spaceship. When we're looking at our printout results, here's an example of a male that we have some results for. So this individual is 28 years old, height of 74.8 inches. And when the test is run, ethnicity, we can put in there as well. And over here on your right, you'll get a nice printout of the results from the test. So this individual's fat percentage is 15.2 of his total. The remainder of that being about 85% is going to be fat-free mass. So this, of course, is equaling up to 100. And as I mentioned before, our fat-free mass is going to be anything of our lean mass, organs, skeletal muscle, bone, water. These percentages directly relate to the two below. So 15.2% that is fat is equal to 34.8 pounds of this individual's total body mass. Again, that 85% of fat free mass is then equal to 194.5 pounds. For a total body mass, if you were to just step on a scale, we would get 229 pounds. Below that, you will see information regarding your body fat then rating. We do have a certain amount of fat that's of course necessary for good health, keeping our body in function, protecting organs, providing energy, regulating hormones. In this individual, his fat 
percentage is falling within this moderately lean category, which is generally acceptable for good health. If too much fat accumulates or even too little, your health, of course, can be compromised. And of course, our fat-free mass muscle is going to help us with physical fitness, preventing conditions, but it's really going to be our metabolic engine of our body that will help burn calories, play a role in maintaining strength and energy, and is really going to make up all of that extra mass in your body, except your fat mass. So now what, if you're interested maybe in receiving a test or finding out more about how to change your lifestyle to see any changes on a bod pod test, or even when you should come back for a follow-up test, you can refer to our FAQ page on the website. And there's some videos below this one that maybe you're already on to really check out some more information. If you're interested in scheduling, there are there is some information there to reach out and schedule a test. We'll reach out to you via email. But if you have any more questions or want to learn more, please see below on our website.